This is not from the Ghost of Tsushima and is not Cypher PK's mask. I created this model in ZBrush using photo references from a museum of a samurai's mask. This is 3D printed with resin from Sunlu. With the sharp spatula, I remove it from the build plate. It goes into a bath of 99% isopropyl alcohol to wash away any uncured resin. While that's washing for a few minutes, I take my time to clean the build plate. Resin dissolves and breaks down when it comes in contact with 99% isopropyl alcohol. I get the best adhesion because my plate is always super clean. After every print, I always empty my vat. Always protect your lungs and always wear a respirator mask. And of course, always wear gloves. You don't want any of this stuff getting on your skin. Once the resin is broken down, I just wipe it away with a clean paper towel. The 8K resolution UV screen has to shine through the transparentness of this FEP sheet. So I make sure I clean away any dust and debris. And I use a microfiber towel. Reinstall the vat for the next print and screw in tightly the build plate. This printer uses manual leveling. Screw it in leveled. The mask is done cleaning after drying. Put the cover back on the bath. This machine also doubles as a curing station. It's up to you, but I always cure my objects before I remove the supports. The UV light will cure any uncured resin that's left on the surface of the model and make it inert. The tips of my supports are very tiny, so when it's curing, the tips become very brittle. This is so I can skip the stage of warming up the supports. Let me show you what I mean. With not much pressure, the supports snap right off. I get the most optimized supports that waste less materials by using paid slicers. I have so many tutorials on how I slice my projects. The teeth is where I have to be very gentle. It's kind of hard to avoid, but I'm going to have a little bit of overlap where the supports goes right through the model. I snip them right off with the little wire cutters. I recommend getting a file set. I use this flat one most of the time. I'll just sand away any remnants of the supports. I accidentally snapped off this tooth. That's okay, easy fix. I use uncured resin, a little bit of filament, dab a little on there, and then I'll just dab a bead on top of that broken tooth. And this is pretty much how 3D resin printing works. This liquid comes in contact with the UV light, a chemical reaction happens, and it hardens. So I'll layer this until I get a sharp point. You can see a little bit of vapor coming off. Lightly sand away and I got a sharp tooth. And some of the damage that I have from the supports, I'll follow the same process and sand away with a Dremel. Now we have a historical piece, a samurai mask that we didn't have to break into a museum and steal. With some practice, resin printing is pretty easy. 